Hello relatives, this is the second in this ongoing blog series on the James Arthur Ray trial entitled The Trust Fraud. So here's my summary of the first week of James Ray's trial. He is, you will recall, the motivational guru who is charged with involuntary manslaughter and the deaths of three people during a sweat lodge ceremony in October 2009. Last week, the first witnesses were called, and they were survivors of that sweat lodge experience. They described the intensity of the heat, the unfolding sickness, and watching their friends die. Ray's attorneys asked these witnesses if they could have left the lodge at any time, and they said yes. And they explained that the reason that they chose to stay in the lodge was because they wanted to experience these events. It's why they came. They believed that they were intended to help them gain control over their lives. And they liked James Ray. They believed in him, believed he had something to teach them that they wanted to learn, and they trusted him. The participants signed waivers saying they knew the experience came with dangers. Ray told them about the risks, as a matter of fact, he exaggerated them, telling the participants that his sweat lodges were not for wimps. They were so hot that they would feel as if the flesh was falling off their bones. His sweats were intense. This was a spiritual warrior retreat. And if they dropped out, he said that they weren't committed to making the changes that they said they wanted to make. And Ray told them this was the ultimate battle and that they could either live an honorable life and devote themselves 100% to everything they do or they could exit dishonorably. This experience bears no resemblance to an authentic Native American sweat lodge. That sacred ceremony is intended to open your mind, body, and spirit to seeing something that you need to know not something that can potentially kill you. In a traditional ceremony, the leader doesn't decide what you need to see or learn. That's between you and those stone people, whose steam is seen as the breath of your ancestors. The native sweat lodge is intended to illuminate the spirit, not eliminate it. Ray may have outlined the risks, and he may not have kept participants from leaving, but he sure made it difficult for them to do so. Those people paid up to $9,000 to participate, and they wanted to get their money's worth. They signed that waiver believing that Ray would deliver what he promised, that he would take them on a journey of intense experience, and that he would lead them out the other side. This was more than an intense experience. It was a fraudulent violation of trust. That's my thought at the end of the first week's trial. Stay in tune, and we will continue to observe its process. Take care. Have a great week. I say this for all my relations. Mitakuyasi.